So why did I choose a Toyota Sienna minivan for my travels? I know you guys don't see the whole minivan a lot of times and that's because I had to really debate whether or not I really wanted to show it, but eventually it was gonna be shown. I don't think I always completely showed it, but anyway, one of the reasons why I chose the Toyota Sienna minivan is because it is stealth. It just looks like a minivan. Why did I choose an older Sienna? Well, actually this was gifted to me by my partner. I wanted it to just kind of look not so new. Just so people would look at and go, ah, oh, that's just like an old minivan. That's part of being stealthy. I didn't want anything that would be big, new, and flashy. I mean, I'm a solo female traveling and I, I just don't want to bring a ton of attention to me. Have anybody have one more thing to think about and why they should approach my vehicle and think any unkind thoughts. So that's why I have a, a Toyota Sienna. It's a 2000. <laughs> okay, want to talk? It's a 2006 Toyota Sienna XLE and I chose it because it was cost effective. It was a gift from my boyfriend and I absolutely love it. It's still running in excellent condition. It had a new transmission put in it. The new tranny in it was replaced by the time I, I got the vehicle. Since I'm the one that's doing this tour, I'll do the best that I can. It's kind of a tour slash, tour slash combo of why I chose this minivan. And I mean, if you looked at that, you're not gonna think somebody's living or traveling in their van, right? The gas mileage here on the Toyota Sienna is eh, decent. I think like 16, 17 city and then 19 or 20 highway miles is something like that, give or take. Let's go ahead. All right, this is the part that you guys don't see, which is all the drawer space back here. I have a Reflectix back here, but look at all this drawer space that I put these cheap little Walmart plastic drawers, three of three drawer, and I put two of them back here. This one, this side right here, Holds all my clothes and some extra camping stuff down here. That has a blanket, that has a sleeping pad. Uh, there's actually more space over here. I have a, a tent and some hiking poles. A pop-up tent, that's what they're called. And then in here I keep extra butane, I keep my Jackery extra charging stuff, wall outlets. I have other things that emergency stuff, extra toilet paper over here. There are plates, my one burner butane stove, pans back here, and um, just some more plastic bags and just other little toiletry kind of stuff that yeah, I just leave back here. And then I have a blackout curtain because I didn't want people to see this Reflectix out here. You can see it through the window that somebody's in here. So that's why I did that. All right. All right. See all this? You can't even see inside, can you? That's because of the blackout curtain. All right. You guys saw I got blackout curtains over here. They're on a string. Stealth. Walk over to this door. Sliding doors. This is a self build, no build. Um, about the only thing that got punctured in here were some pins. Somebody asked me in the comments about what I do to keep these really tight up here. These are like some uh, kind of cloth pins that I got on Amazon and they have little twisty knobs 
on them and uh, I'll put the link in below for you guys. But yeah, behind that curtain, you see behind that curtain? I know it looks a little bit messy right here right now, but behind that curtain is all the drawer space that you guys actually hardly probably never see in the video. But down here, this is just an ottoman. Ottoman, I keep my two gallon uh, toilet bucket in there. I have tons of Walmart bags and uh, my toilet paper, shower stuff, toiletries, toiletries all go, toiletries all go in here. And then on the other side, because this ottoman goes all the way back here, and it flips up as well. That's just other, that's the Mr. Heater little buddy that I never use. As you guys can see, candles, falsy eyelashes, books to journal. I am a intuitive, psychic intuitive. I do uh, chart readings, not astrology, but these are different. It's called Cards of Your Destiny, and I do chart readings. But we don't need to get into all that metaphysical stuff right now. All right, and then down here, guys, let's see. Vitamins, extra auto lights. And then underneath here, I keep like uh, more shoes and more emergency supplies back here in a plastic tote, emergency stuff. Water is down there, all that good stuff. And then, you guys have seen this cooler and other ones. I don't use a plug-in cooler in here because I go to the gas station enough to get ice. Some of you guys want to get on me about a refrigerator. And I'm not saying that I won't use one. I actually have a small cooler type plug-in. It's not a refrigerator freezer, but it's a stuff that you can plug it in and it keeps it cool. Uh, just as good as a refrigerator, if you ask me. But I opted not to use that in this because I didn't want to worry about the battery. Did it have enough charge? I just knew that sometimes when I'm in a city dwelling like this, I'm, I'm going to be around people, friends and people that I can mooch dock off of. I'm not going to have to worry about ice as much because I can keep stuff in their refrigerator. We go to places to eat, cook in their kitchen. On here, my Reflectix, my bag with freeze dried food. That's kind of my pantry. It is a Grubhub bag because I used to do Grubhub. My Jackery 240 that hooks up with the solar panels right there as well as my Jackery 1000. I have two Jackeries in here. And then, you know, I just have a bunch of outdoor stuff. Uh, because I cross over different weather, I have beanies, I have uh, headlamps, I have gaiters, I have caps. A lot of this stuff is gonna have to be cleaned out when I get back to Colorado. This is a bed that can actually incline recline three times and I got it on Amazon. I think it was around 200 bucks. If I find a link for it, I'll let you guys know. But um, I put six inches of memory foam, five or six inches of memory foam on here, a nice soft fleece blanket. And then back here, I also have my down comforter. Behind there, it's dirty laundry, more vitamins and supplements. Also here, this is a little bit of a drink station. It's got all my teas and and uh, crystal, more crystal light in here somewhere. I definitely like to have the steering wheel lock. Uh, it's a knockoff of the club. All right, let's go over here. Another solar panel. You guys seen this solar panel. It's in my dash. Another solar panel underneath that. That's, I have 260 watts of solar panels in here that I usually put out on the windshield if you guys have watched my other videos. And then I have some extra water, a little bit more food. I have a Wee Boost to help with the cell signal. It's some, it's a knockoff to the Wee Boost, but that's uh, something you can 
put on top of your vehicle to help improve the cell signal. But it's just miscellaneous stuff, some more Velcro. I don't know, a can of soda. <laughs> yeah. I have walkie talkies. I have a multi purpose tool from Cabela's. I keep a hatchet over here. It's a weapon slash obviously tool. I keep different tools and weapons in the vehicle in various places. All throughout the van, there's probably a good eight or nine of them. I use Velcro for a lot of things, but it starts falling apart after a while because it gets warm and sticky and leaves a kind of a mess. So I use these little, uh, like I said, little buttons. And the Toyota Sienna has this amazing like top that allows you to stick the scratchy side of Velcro to it. And it'll, it'll stay. What I have is industrial strength Velcro. It's a little bit more challenging in this vehicle for some reason versus my Toyota Prius. I, I don't know why that is and they have the same material. I have more auto lights, auto sensor lights, or I can turn it on and leave it on. More sunglasses. I don't know, what else do you guys need to know? Here's, I have a bunch of utensils and stuff in here. I have extra solar batteries. I always need extra rechargeable batteries. Being out in the Prius a year or nine months, and I still plan on using it. Then I wanted to get something where at least I could sit straight up in, but still be stealthy. That was really important to me. I think it is all about how you car camp, how you travel, how you live your life when you're in your vehicle. And I like to stealth camp a lot. I want to be able to fit into a regular parking spot. I want to be incognito. I'm not the kind of person that wants to let the whole world know necessarily that I am sleeping in my vehicle when traveling. Now, when people do find out, they really think it's pretty cool or they just think I'm a loser, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> So I think for the most part, I get a positive a response and they, they think it's kind of cool. And I think right now, because a lot of people are having problems meeting their rent, the economy the way it is, inflation is getting up there pretty high. People are looking for an alternative way to live. Gas mileage, stealthiness, it has enough space. I can still cook. I can still go to the bathroom in here. I can still lounge in here. Now, if you guys like my videos and you guys like relaxed ways of doing things like I do, please consider, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting the notification bell so that you know when I am releasing another video, which right now it's about two times a week. And also hitting that like button. It really helps me out guys. And it gives you hopefully some quality in your life somehow. I don't know. <laughs> My lazy Asian way of doing things. Constructive comments. Something I can learn from, something the rest of the channel and community can learn from as well. Appreciate you guys being here. I know that you have taken the time to be here with me and I appreciate you because I know that you could be in other places, uh, doing other things, spending time with your family, working, um, working out, doing dishes, cleaning, spending time with friends, watching other YouTubers that fit your style more. But you guys decided to watch this video and I really, really, I'm grateful. Thank you so much for spending the time with me and I will see you on the next one.